Ahoy my boys, it's me, ya boy. Back again with another video. Today we're doing top 10 death machines in Call of Duty Zombies. Uh, let's get started. At number 10 we have the one from Call of Duty Vanguard because I haven't played it. At number 9 we have the one from Black Ops 2 because it's just a glorified LMG and it's only on Mob of the Dead. At number 8 we have the one from Black Ops 3. Functionally it's fine, but it's always felt very light and flimsy to me which isn't super satisfying. At number 7 we have the one from Call of Duty Ghosts. It's not zombies, but it's still a good death machine. At number 6 we have the one from Cold War. This one's always felt really good to me, especially against the special enemies. At number 5 we have... This would lead to Bernadotte becoming the king of Sweden, and his family would continue to rule Sweden even today. Anyway, in 1974... At number 4 we have the one from Black Ops 4. I'll let this one speak for itself. At number 3 we have the one from Dead Ops Arcade. It's crazy powerful and so fun to use, especially when you get the fate of firepower. At number 2 we have the one from Black Ops 1. It's a classic, it's slow but it makes it feel powerful, and you can also spin the barrels. And finally at number 1 we have the one from World at War. This one's such a good weapon, it looks, sounds, and feels really cool. Easily the best gun in the game. But anyway, that's my, my top 10 death machines in Call of Duty Zombies. Uh, Feel free to like and subscribe if you liked it, and I will see you next time.